This problem gives us a mirror on the bottom of a swimming pool of depth D2 and a light bulb a distance D1 above the water. We're asked to find how far below the mirror the bulb's image forms. We know that the bulb's image will form directly beneath the light bulb, so we'll find its location by tracing a ray and seeing where it intersects this vertical line. If we draw a ray from the light bulb to the water, it will refract towards the normal, pass through the water, reflect off of the mirror, and travel up symmetrically so that it exits the water at the same angle that it entered. If we now trace this ray backwards, as I'm showing in this orange line, it will intersect the vertical where the image forms. We need to find this distance d. Let's call this angle theta, so that that is also theta, and we know from symmetry that the other side also has these two angles theta. The refracted angle inside the water, I'll draw in green and call it theta sub w, w for water. We're going to assume in our solution that both theta and theta w are small, much less than one, so that the sine of theta is approximately equal to the tangent of theta, and that's approximately equal to theta, either for the angle theta or theta w. We'll find the distance d using this large right triangle that I'm drawing in orange. Its vertical leg has a length L1, and the horizontal length is L2. Notice that L1 equals D2, the water's depth, plus D, the image distance that we're trying to find. And L2, the horizontal leg, is the sum of these three distances, S1 and two S2s. Now we need to find these quantities. Look first at this right triangle I'm outlining in green. Tangent of that angle theta is the ratio of opposite to adjacent sides. That's S1 over D1. We can make the approximation that tangent of theta is approximately theta and solve this for S1. It's D1 times theta. I'll move that result up here for safekeeping. Here's another right triangle I'm outlining in green. Notice now that tangent of theta w is S2 over D2. Tangent of theta w is approximately equal to theta w. And in the same way, solve this for S2. It equals D2 times theta w. We need to relate now the angle theta to the angle theta w. We'll do that using Snell's law at the interface where the red ray enters the water. So we have n air sine theta equals n water sine theta water. The index of refraction for air is 1 and each of the sines is approximately equal to the angle, so that theta w is approximately equal to theta over the index of refraction for water. So we can substitute that and move this result up here for safekeeping. Now let me erase some of this so we'll have room to solve the rest of the problem. The large orange triangle is a right triangle, where this angle is theta. We can write its tangent, the ratio of the opposite to the adjacent sides. That's L2 over L1. Tangent of theta is approximately equal to theta. And on the right-hand side, we can substitute the expressions. L2 is S1 plus twice S2. And L1 is D2 plus D. There's a theta in every term, so we can cancel them and solve for the distance d, the image distance below the mirror. That works out to d1 plus the quantity 2 over index of water minus 1 times d2. Now we can substitute the values. The index of water is 1.33. Finding that the image forms a distance 3.51 meters below the mirror. If there was no water in the pool, the image would have formed at the larger distance, d1 plus d2. So the water reduced the distance to the image.